Hello. Today's video will show our day in Disney's California Adventure. Most of our time we spent grabbing different food from the Lunar New Year Festival booths. Um, we did ride some rides and enjoyed the ambiance. It was a fun day, and if you can ever get to their Lunar New Year Festival, I definitely recommend doing so. I started to check to see if California Adventure was decorated for the 100, but this was the only banner I noticed. To be fair, we had other things on our agenda, like food. But this is a nice little added touch of the decorations they have at the park. Because the line for Radiator Springs Racers can get very long, we hit that ride first thing. It's always a fun ride. Red lights driving at night, windowless ride, feeling alive, nothing in sight, forever in flight. Follow those lines, we'll make it this time. Blurry street lights, work as a guide to memories that we're we'll making tonight. Oh, yeah, we'll make it tonight. Yeah. Next we strolled through Avengers Campus and rode Web Slingers, and then we went directly to Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. We'd gotten to the park fairly early, so we got most of the rides out of the way first, before the lines got too long. We took a stroll over to the Lunar New Year booth section of the park right after we checked out Guardians. By the way, just a little heads up, I had planned to share this with you before the festival ended, but we had a lovely visit from our kids and I had to put everything on hold. Don't worry, even though it's a bit late, you can still get a glimpse of what to expect for next year's festival. Our first stop was the Bamboo Blessings booth where we picked up this Mickey shaped hot dog bun with hot dogs stuffed inside and topped with sesame seeds and scallions. We also got the Mickey shaped purple sweet potato macaron filled with sweet potato buttercream and crumb fresh. While we ate, we got to watch the Lunar New Year parade which is awesome. The hot dog and bun was okay. The flavor was average. We really enjoyed the macaron though. That was definitely a great option and we get it again. After the parade, we went to the Lucky Lantern booth and picked up the quesadilla egg roll with guajillo pepper consomme filled with Oaxaca cheese, beef birria, and a side of the pepper sauce. We also got a mandarin mousse cake with vanilla cake and clementine compote and finished with white chocolate crunch balls and tangerine glaze. The egg roll was our pick for best of the fest. 
This was amazing, and I hope they bring it back next year. The beef was juicy and flavorful, and the wrapper was perfectly crispy and gave a nice crunchy and chewy texture at the same time. The cake was also delicious. It was a nice mix of sweet and tangy. Romar also got the coconut lavender matcha foamed iced coffee with coconut cream and white chocolate sauce. This was an interesting flavor and we really enjoyed it, perhaps mostly because coffee was absolutely necessary this day. Would recommend. From Pos Prosperity Bao and Buns, we got the Char Siu Barbecue Pork Bao with pickled red onion and jalapeno and pepperoni pizza bao bun with marinara sauce on the side. The Char Siu Pork Bao was really, really good. The pork mixed with pickled onion and jalapeno gave it a nice zesty flavor that we enjoyed. The pizza bao was surprisingly delicious as well. It was moist on the inside and tasted great with the marinara sauce. From the Longevity Noodle Booth, we got the garlic noodles, the spicy dandan dan noodles, and the raspberry oat milk tea. These were all really tasty. We particularly loved the garlic noodles, which had a pretty strong garlic flavor. So it might not be for some people, but we loved them, and the spicy noodles were very flavorful and did have a tiny bit of a kick to them. I really liked the oat milk tea. It wasn't too heavy and was refreshing. Definitely great options. From Paradise Garden Grill, we got the kimchi boko bumbap. It comes with potato, carrot, and onion fried rice with egg and Korean chili paste and is topped with crispy sweet and sour tofu and black sesame seeds. This was not great. The rice was almost crunchy and tasted like it had sat for a while, and we weren't a fan of the sweet and sour tofu. There was almost no flavor at all to this dish, so it was very disappointing. Hopefully they do better next year. There were other dishes available, but none that sounded very appealing, so we moved along after this dish. We took a quick ride on the Little Mermaid and then headed to the Wrapped With Love booth and got the bok choy and mushroom dumplings with a black garlic sauce. These were okay. They definitely needed the sauce to add flavor to the dish, but it wasn't a bad dish. From Kayla's Cafe, we got the chocolate egg tart and the traditional egg tart. These were pretty good. I preferred the chocolate over the traditional out of the two, but both had a pretty decent flavor overall. They were moist and the crust was perfectly flaky. So it took a good portion of the day to go through all that food and we didn't finish all of it. We had to take some back to our RV, but after all that we strolled over to Avengers Campus and caught sight of some of the characters out and about. We even saw Shang-Chi, whom I hadn't seen the parks yet, so we were excited for this sighting. So we cut this day a little bit short because it's a long drive from where we parked our RV, um, but we accomplished our goal of eating all the food. Um, worth the drive. Our final thought on the Disney 100 and the Lunar New Year festivals. Um, we felt that much like the 50th celebration in Disney World, it was lacking any anniversary specific entertainment other than a little tribute on Main Street. It's hard to really judge the fireworks since we didn't stay and see them in person, but I can tell you from recent past shows we did stay to watch and the video we viewed, it seemed that Disney is moving more and more towards using mainly projections for their end of the night shows with fewer actual fireworks, which for some is probably not a bad thing. Um, and I get it, projections are probably less expensive and for returning guests, they can get a different show every time they go if they stand in different places. Uh, but I miss all the fireworks. It was nice not to have to stand in the middle of a hugely crowded area to see them. Like you could be just outside the park and still see a lot of the show. Now, not as much. So for me, it's a little disappointing, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, don't come for me. The Lunar Year was a really fun festival though. 
I love the parade and overall the food booths had pretty good offerings. We hope to be back for the next year's festival and with that we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one.